apologize, I should have written that in from the beginning. However, the first thing we need to understand, theta must be in radians. So if you have 75 degrees, the first thing I'm going to do, 75 degrees times pi over 180. Boom, done. Right? And so therefore, I, um, 5 pi over 4? Over 12. OK, so you go ahead and simplify that. You notice that um, uh, what would be 15. Yeah, 15 goes on the top, and 15 goes in both of them. So that reduces to 5 pi over 12. So that is my new theta. Then to follow my formula, it's just arc length equals radius times theta. So s equals 2.5 times 5 pi over theta. Well, oops, I'm sorry. It's 2.5 centimeters times 5 pi over 12. Right? We have a unit attached to this problem. So we're going to continue the unit. So when we're talking about centimeters, we want to evaluate. We want to approximate what that is going to be. So could I just borrow your calculator real quick? Um, yeah, but you're, um, yes. So, however, if you guys notice, I don't, I didn't simplify this, what you did. I'm not going to do 25 pi over 180 and then round it. You could, as long as you're using the same number. But if you're using a different calculator, my recommendation would just be to keep the pi until the very, very end. Then all I'm doing is 2.5 times 5 times pi and then divided by 12. And what I get is 3.27249, blah, blah, blah. We're going to round to the 100. So this is going to be my arc length is approximate 3.27. Centimeters, right? Centimeters. Very good.